Muma recently released three brand new Nintendo Switch grips, and they might just be the best grip cases out there. Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome to Time Log Gaming. Now full disclosure, Moomba did send me these cases to review. They also offered to pay me, but I declined because I want you to be able to trust what I say. As always, I'll give you my honest opinions including the good and the bad. For a little context, I previously did a video that covered 8 different grip cases for the Switch. In that video, I reviewed two of Moomba's old cases. Their previous cases are good, but they were designed more around protection than for comfort. They were my least favorite cases out of the 8 I reviewed. So going into this, I was not expecting to love them, but their brand new line of Switch Grip cases are designed around protection, comfort, style, and functionality. These cases blew me away. I am really excited to show off these new grips. There are three different versions, the Blade series, Battle series, and Girl Power series. Each one is different with their own unique features, and they are all amazing grip cases. Be sure to stick around until the end to find out which one's my favorite. First we have the Girl Power Grip Case. Obviously this case is designed to be more appealing to women and girls, and if you take a look on Amazon, there aren't really any other cases designed for women, at least none that are good, so I think this is awesome. First off, the design is truly beautiful. The back features a dozen different white and pink marble patterns, separated by several shiny rose gold lines. Around the entire edge of the case is a frosty, translucent plastic that will show off your color Joy-Con, as well as a skin you may have on your Switch. This is a really nice touch and helps everything come together to look great. Not only does it look stunning though, but it's also very comfortable. They didn't just sacrifice comfort to make it look good. The Girl Power Switch case is actually one of the most comfortable cases I've used, even with my big hands. The back features two round grips, one on each side, very similar to the JE Tech grip. It's actually a lot like the JE Tech grip, but it's a lot better. However, what makes this grip really comfortable is the gloss coating over the entire back of the case. The gloss provides extra grip, which adds to the comfort. It also makes it easier to correctly position your hands to use the joysticks or buttons without discomfort. When I used to use the skin on my original Switch, I actually stopped using the grip because the gloss on the skin makes it easier to hold, so having gloss on this grip case is actually a great feature. Now, I was skeptical of this gloss coating wearing easily, but after my girlfriend and I both used and tested this case for a month, the gloss coating on the back has no fingerprints or scratches. Like seriously, I don't know what sort of magical coating they used, but it holds up very well. By the way, my girlfriend Olivia loves this case, both how it looks and feels. So if you have a girlfriend or wife with a Switch, this would be a perfect gift to give them. There are perfect cutouts all around the case for charging, headphones, the game card slot, fans, etc. Also, the plastic used in this case is my favorite of all Muma cases. It's sort of a soft rubber that's easy to take on and off. That being said, it still feels very secure and protective. So overall, the Moomba Girl Power Grip case is excellent. It's the most beautiful case out there and has great build quality and high comfort. Those with small, medium, and even large hands will find this grip comfortable. If you like Rocking Rolls Gold or know someone who does, definitely go for it. While the first grip focuses more towards simplicity and style, the Blade series grip focuses more on functionality. The main feature of the Blade case is that it's dockable. However, that could be its weakest feature. If you're using a glass screen protector, it's a super tight fit. This is the situation with all dockable cases out there though. So while it is dockable, I recommend taking it off to dock it. Although if you don't use a glass screen protector, it actually fits perfectly in the dock. The back of the case features two indents that precisely align the case to slide right into the dock. So if you use a thin plastic screen protector or none at all, this docking ability could be a game changer. Where the Blade series grip really shines though is the comfort and design. The design of this grip looks awesome. At the top, there is a unique design that really adds a personal touch. It almost looks like circuitry. Alongside this, there are multiple areas with carbon fiber. Below this is a transparent plastic that perfectly shows off the Switch logo. Around the edges of this transparent plastic, there are geometric lines and patterns that make the Switch look futuristic. Along each side of the grips, there's a textured, bumpy, carbon fiber-like material. This helps add more grip and comfort. The quality is top-notch, and you can tell they paid attention to every detail. There's a little room on either side that shows off your color Joy-Con, which I thought was a very nice touch that helps show off your color Joy-Con from the back. They even fixed an issue from their previous cases. I found that it was super hard to take out the game cards in their previous cases, but with all these new cases, they added more room for the game card flap, and now it's super easy to access. 
Along with this, all the button covers are clicky and easy to press, and with all the cutouts that are perfectly aligned. There's even a place to thread a wrist strap or lanyard. The Blade Series grip also fits in the water-filled pouch, which is awesome because that's my favorite case. Comfort-wise, this case surprised me. The entire thing is very slim, but the grips on either side are very well placed. This type of grip is minimal, but it's done in such a way that makes it really comfortable. It's not like this Golden Co where there's a big grip coming out the back, and it's not like the Satisfy where there's huge grips coming out the side. Instead, it's sort of in between. It slightly protrudes out the sides and the back. I love this design as it keeps the slim feeling of the switch while giving you exceptional grip. The grips themselves are placed so that your fingers rest on the inner grip. This makes it so your palms rest on the bottom corners of the switch. This case cradles those corners, which helps to make the case more shock absorbent, but also gives you more surface area for your palms to rest on. Also, on these bottom corners, the case extends out slightly to create a great place for you to rest your fingers. For me, the most uncomfortable part of using the switch in handheld mode is that I have to use my pinkies to support the entire switch. These two notches give you a place for your pinkies or ring fingers to grip onto. These subtle grips help to cradle the switch in your hands, and this is especially useful for games that use triggers. The placement feels perfect for all types of games. With other grips out there, playing some games would feel comfortable, and with other games, it wouldn't. Also, in some positions of using the Switch, it would be comfortable, in others it wouldn't. But the Blade Series case seems to be comfortable in every position and with every game. The only downside at all is the tight fit while docking with the glass screen protector. But again, that's not the case's fault. And if you don't use a glass screen protector, it'll work very well. From the textured grips, to the geometric lines and cutouts, to the transparent back, the Blade Series movement case has an awesome look to it. Not only that, but the unique placement of the grips makes this case super comfortable. There's also the ability to dock it and take out the Joy-Con without removing the case. So overall, the Mumu Blade Series is an excellent switch grip. The Battle Series grip case takes almost everything from the Blade Series and makes it better. It has the same perfect cutouts, the same place to thread a wrist strap, and same easy removable Joy-Con feature. Everything else though is enhanced. The design on the back is upgraded with more durable, rugged materials. Throughout the back, there's a super dense, high quality, hard plastic frame. Then there's softer material in between it. There's also a few clear panels that let the back of the switch show through. In addition, there's carbon fiber intricately placed between these materials. It's an awesome looking design that is super functional as it's very rugged and tough. This is the most protective case I've ever used, and Moomba is already rated as the number one for drop test in switch cases. So you know you'll be protected from drops. Also on the back is enhanced grips from the Battle Series. On this Battle Series, the grips are even bigger. They are wider, thicker, and taller. This is perfect for all sizes of hands, and is 100 times more comfortable than their old rugged case. It's extremely comfortable. I would say it's as comfortable as a Skull & Co. Even more comfortable in some aspects. But remember, every person's going to have their own preferences when it comes to switch grips. The grips are perfectly sized so that your fingers have a place to rest, but also so that your palms have a place to rest as well. The lip on the bottom also helps with this so you can really grab onto it. That's what I love so much about this case, is it feels like it's snug in your hands. It gives you that minimal feel of a naked switch, but in a much more comfortable way. It wouldn't make much sense for their most rugged case to have a docking feature, so instead, the Battle Series puts in a kickstand, which for me is an enhancement. The kickstand on this thing is absolutely perfect. And you know what? I have to give a huge shout out to Moomba and Trevor from the gaming Goomba. Last year, Moomba invited him out to their headquarters and asked for feedback about their previous rugged case. In response, Trevor said he didn't like how you can't take out the Joy-Con and that there isn't a kickstand. Well, Moomba obviously listened because this case has both those things and it's great. The kickstand is made of a very dense plastic with a sturdy hinge. It's super wide so you can prop it up on surfaces that aren't completely flat like a bed, couch, the floor, basically anything. I can literally just place it on my leg and it'll stand up. It clicks in place securely and it's surprisingly satisfying to close, but it's also easy to open and it props up the switch at the perfect angle. But probably the best feature of the kickstand is you can charge your switch while it's propped up by the kickstand. Granted, you have to have the switch close to the edge of the desk on nightstand, but it works perfectly. The angle of the stand with the extended grips lets the charging port rest over the edge, leaving plenty of room for the plug-in and charger. Again, you can tell they paid attention to every little detail. If you pop open the kickstand, there's an indented design underneath it. That's some serious detail. The only downside at all to this case is it's a little hard to take off. The other two cases are easier, but this one is a more rigid material, which makes it harder. 
This wouldn't be as big of a deal to me, but this case, unlike the blade, is slightly too big for my Waterfield Switch pouch, so I have to take the Battle Series off in order to store it in my bag. However, once you figure out the right way to take it off, it's not a big deal. The best way to take off all three cases is place your left thumb on the top middle left and push up, then lift up underneath the Joy-Con. So overall, the Battle Series grip is my absolute favorite between these three Muma cases. I even find it as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than the Skull & Co. It really has a good snug feeling in the hands, the design looks great, the kickstand is freaking amazing, and it's super rugged and protective. I very highly recommend this Battle Series case, as well as the Girl Power and Blade Series grip cases. One of these cases is bound to be a perfect fit for your playstyle and comfort preferences. If not, Muma does have two other cases that I reviewed. So if you want to know more about the other cases, definitely check out that video where I compare eight different grip cases. And if you still aren't satisfied, I'm going to be reviewing the all new revised Satisfied Pro Gaming Grip very soon. So if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss that video. Now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on these three brand new Moomoo Grip cases? Which do you like the best? Let me know your take in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching.